three and a half years of incarceration is that does a number on you, man. Getting out, life life was not easy. Not like in ways that you couldn't possibly imagine, you know? From my own experience, my own experience, um, whenever I got out of jail the first time, out of prison, fresh out, no job, no income, no nothing, the areas that I think are most promising is number one, decarceration. The second space we have to be working in is in housing policy. And I would say the third important policy area is in healthcare expansion. Mass incarceration is the twin to community divestment. So for the past 45 years, America has been gradually divesting from public education, from healthcare, and really putting all that money into military endeavors, policing, and prisons. When you are on drugs or alcohol, unfortunately you are probably in the criminal system in some capacity. Nine times out of 10, a woman goes to prison either because of a man because of a drug habit or because of mental illness. But then when they get out of jail, it continues to punish them by sort of putting a lot of barrier, barriers in, in their way. People are in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just a lot of permeability. But most women, whenever they get out of prison, they go home or they're going back to wherever they're going to, either into an abusive relationship or into, you know, the streets. And they have their kids and they, you know, nobody else is going to take care of them. We've had several people come in for this documentary and talk about the number of vacant homes in Kansas City. All roads lead to housing. If, if you don't have a place to lay your head, then you spend a, a phenomenal amount of time and energy trying to find that and it puts you in situations that are dangerous. I think one of, some of the biggest challenges, I think some of the, the misnomers that people have, there's some people that are homeless by choice. Family after family displaced, um, where they have to find uh, other affordable places to live as the city becomes less and less affordable. I mean, there's nowhere to go where the waiting list isn't already a mile long. They are taking pieces of our neighborhoods who have been driven into the ground, been divested in, and now they have changed the landscape both demographically, both financially. Many of them see gentrification as a positive, where I only see it as a social evil. I see that it's been vastly destructive to a community that I've lived in my entire life. And so I've had a 60-year view of the transition of this community and this is the worst I've ever seen. I'm not anti-developer. I believe people should have the right to develop and make money, but I also think that people should be responsible, that he should be looking at everyone in the neighborhood and not trying to replace people, but what can we do to also help the people that are already here? We're talking persons who are in and out of jails and prisons typically are living at the margins in general. These are folks who will not have steady health insurance, will not have a steady health care provider. This means that they're also exposed to more illnesses and diseases. We are not a Medicaid expansion state in either Kansas and Missouri. And that we know has an impact on cancer screening for women in this population.
being able to make a doctor's appointment is hard. Or if I don't have insurance, all right, well, who's going to help me in the meantime? You know, in the last five years, and I am fortunate enough to have Medicaid and Medicare because of my disability. Um, but that still didn't make a difference in, in it being easy to, to get that checked out, you know? I mean, it takes three months just to get in to see a doctor. I mean, who, what mentally ill individual is not going to go off the deep end in three months? How does a neighborhood affect a woman's ability to stay safe from violence? How do partners in her domestic sphere or in her community sphere either put her in the path of violence or help her prevent it? What are economic opportunities in the neighborhood? What are healthcare opportunities in the neighborhood? I know that there's people out there trying to make it a better situation, you know, and I hope they do because it's not a very invite it's it's not been a very inviting situation for people.